All right, let's watch. Alex Jones ordered to pay nearly $1 billion to Sandy Hook families. In other Massive news. verdict handed down in a lawsuit against Alex Jones. A jury determined the radio talk show host and conspiracy theorist must pay nearly $1 billion in damages to the families of Sandy Hook shooting victims. Jones repeatedly called the school massacre a hoax on the air. Last year, a judge found him liable of defamation by default after he failed to produce documents demanded in the lawsuit. And Nikki Batiste has been following this case for months. We find her at the courthouse in Waterbury, Connecticut, where the judgment was read yesterday. Uh, Nikki, good morning. Tony, good morning. Well, I sat in the courtroom near several of the Sandy Oak victims' family members as that verdict was read, and they were emotional yet poised. Several told me soon after they were in shock, but that this is the accountability they want Jones to face after enduring years of harassment from him and his supporters. We, the jury, have reached our verdict as to damages in this case. In less than three days, the six jurors decided the conspiracy Alex theorist Jones Alex Jones must pay more than $965 million in compensatory damages. That's a lot of moolah, baby. That is, mm, that's buku bucks right there. I mean, that's pack watch. Can his future income be garnished if he can't pay, declares bankruptcy? I don't know what the, what the financial tools are here. You know what I mean? What, like, what kind of punitive measures they can engage in. Also, notice the, the, the top left corner here. This is the second trial. This is the trial in Connecticut. This is not the Texas one where he very openly defamed the judge and, you know, used imagery like, uh, you know, of her burning. So he toned it down and decided to do the contempt uh, news story with the laser eyes. And he still did it. He still had the fucking shit on the judge. Crazy, man. What a psycho for spreading false claims that the 2012 Sandy Hook school shooting was a hoax. I let my voice be taken away from me. Robbie Parker lost his daughter, Emily. Parker testified that a video of him speaking at his daughter's funeral was mocked by Jones. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I'm just proud that what we were able to accomplish was just to simply tell the truth. Jones and his company, Free Speech Systems, were sued by eight victims' families and an FBI agent who responded to the shooting over claims the company made millions spreading misinformation about the tragedy. Jones and his attorney maintained that the trial was a sham and an attack on his First Amendment rights. Though he was not in court, Jones watched live on his webcast. He cheered while the verdict was read, mocking the families and saying they won't receive any payments. How likely is it that this will finance? I think he's flexing too much, man. As much as I personally believe that justice never gets served fully, especially against those who deserve it the most, I really think he's gone a little too far in this circumstance. You know what I mean? There's no way someone can gloat this fucking hard when they are so insanely in the wrong and be able to continuously get away with it. I just don't see it. There's got to be karma at a certain point that fucking kicks in, right? I don't know financially ruin or could financially ruin Alex Jones. Well, one of the things that Alex Jones tried to do throughout this case was to hide his assets. Jones' company filed for bankruptcy in July, but a forensic economist in a previous case estimated that Jones is personally worth as much as $270 million. Since this case will not have a cap on punitive damages, Judge Barbara Bellis will now consider how much Jones will ultimately have to pay. I mean, we saw it. it was live reacting to the fucking court proceedings. And uh, when the when the verdict came down and the awards were being mentioned, he literally was pumping his fucking website, like savealexjones.com or something. He made a new website specifically for this. He said, we're going to declare chapter 11 bankruptcy. They're not going to get a fucking dime. Also, every every dime that you give me will go to the legal defense fund, making sure that this gets held up in court for years. 57 million, 20 million, 50 million, 80 million, 100 million, blah, blah. You get a million, you get 100 million, you get a 50 million. Do these people actually think they're getting any money? Anyway, here it is. This is important stuff. And uh Alex Jones uh, was immediately, of course, brought onto mainstream. I talked about it in the cold open today show. Uh, I appreciate right. you. By, by uh, you know, everyone's favorite fucking demon, Steven Crowder. Uh, it's just like, 
it's all team sport, man. There is no amount of fucking cruelty that some of these people will do. Like, I always talk about uh, the left not circling the fucking wagon all the goddamn time and, like, not engaging in a circular firing squad all the goddamn time, right? Because you do need to, at the very least, like, build a consistent community that can make meaningful change. And we refuse to do that. But God damn it, I mean, this is the alternative. And this shit's awful. Like, show solidarity and kindness and empathy to your fellow man, right? Don't alienate those who you can educate. These are things I believe in. These are things I've believed in for many, many years. These are things I talk about. But this is, this is a level of insanity that is unimaginable. How do you know they're too far gone to educate? I mean, dude, usually if people have uh, some kind of financial interest in spreading their message, they're a little bit harder to rehabilitate or educate. It takes a lot for someone who is, you know, uh, uh, gaining financial compensation by spreading right-wing psychotic bullshit. Uh, it takes a lot for them to turn around, you know? This is why I really respect people who reform when they don't need to people who see the light and people who change their behavior can you give an example of people who have changed or reformed idubs ethan klein myself xqc we talked about human beings are imperfect there are plenty of people in this community that were uh that had different opinions when they were growing up there are plenty of you that have reformed your perspective on issues that you had a very different uh, perspective on that's what this community is built on uh, the the capacity to understand and lead by empathy <laughs> bro i was literally transphobic and now i'm trans yeah what do i always say leftists understand that we are products of our social development our social upbringing right we are products of the system and the system itself is bigoted the system itself is uh the system itself is is white supremacist is built on white supremacist foundations all of our institutions reflect that bigotry okay it's a permanent part of our everyday existence of course people are going to have starting points that might be bigoted if anything my own personal experiences learning from my mistakes in the past are what guides me and what has guided me for many many years to be able to change people's minds if i didn't ha believe that people have the capacity to change and this ties back to the criminal justice uh, uh conversation that we were talking about if i didn't believe that people had the capacity to change then my job would be nothing I should just check it at the door. However, Alex Jones is not one of those people. So let's watch what Alex Jones had to say. When you're ready, just just roll. I guess you're rolling it uh, from, from his end. No, right? We'll roll it from our end then. Go ahead and roll it, guys. All right. But we will be at it as long as it takes. And if you're out there right now and you're one of Alex Jones's audience members and you're giving him money, I just want you to know that based on the jury's verdict today, it's not a very good bet. Uh, and to go back with, to what Robbie Parker said, all Alex Jones does is take from you, exploit you, lie to you, feed your fears and your anxieties and your mistrust. And the only person that benefits in that equation is him. Well, that stops. That's stopping today, thanks to the courage of these families. Thank you very much. Thanks, Senator. All right, so what he just said there is, we don't want money from Alex Jones. And I want to explain to the listeners. We're going to appeal this. Then they ask for money. Get overturned. <laughs> then they ask for money. We don't want the $900 million from Alex Jones, damn it. Uh, you can make that payable to cash. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so, so. I mean, how many times has Steven Crowder talked about defamation, dude? Every single one of these motherfuckers has a tweet. Every single one of these motherfuckers have talked about suing other people uh, on the basis of defamation. So kind of wild for them to turn around and be like, oh, man. Like, I mean, they were celebrating Kyle Rittenhouse suing people for defamation like last week. So, Kyle, you have any plans to sue some media companies soon? <laughs> I don't know, Charlie. I don't know, but some accountability's coming. I'd be on the lookout. And now they're like, but wow, oh, when one of our guys gets sued for defamation, well, holy moly, that's not acceptable. Can't have that. If I can, I'm chomping at the bit because there's so many angles to this, Stephen. 
Number one, I don't have $3 million cash in, in my company and my personal stuff. I have enough to operate and, and you know pay the bills and, and legal. I got a nice house, got decent cars, but I, I don't worship things. So that them trying to take money away from me means nothing. It'll actually make me work harder to expose them. I'd work for free exposing them, so they're never going to silence me without killing me or putting me in prison. Right. And so that which doesn't you know kill me only makes me stronger. But they specifically say over and over again, they want me taken off the air. They want me bankrupt. Okay, so we're... So we're in chapter five, sub, chapter 11, sub chapter five bankruptcy that isn't liquidation. It's where we do a plan to the federal government. We say, okay, you can have the future. Motherfucker said, go ahead, liquidate my assets. That'll only make me grind harder, dude. That's kind of funny. And I got to lie. It's literally the, yeah, raise my rent. <laughs> Take my house. It's only going to make me grind harder. He's like, I'm going to, I'm going to say more false flag conspiracies that are unhinged. Just you wait future profits towards all these lawsuits in the future in a five-year plan and there's not much profit around here so my crew stays hired we stay on air it becomes a zombie organization is what they call it because now any profit but they're not allowed to fire people or do all that stuff the operation continues on the list is supported and then whatever extras there they get paid that's in two years at least even if this is it's kind of wild that he's like openly showcasing his disdain, by the way, where he's like, I'm going to hold up this process as best as possible. Like normally that's something that you shouldn't be out and about. You know what I mean? You shouldn't be openly stating that, right? But Alex Jones is not a normal person. So of course, Alex Jones instead is quite literally openly stating his goal in, in subverting the legal process as best as possible. He's just admitting to it. And it's like, a, what are you going to fucking do about it situation? You know what I mean? Well, also, normal humans don't literally fucking call the judge overseeing your defamation awards trial a pedophile uh, by, you know, and, and double down on the defamation during that fucking trial. But, you know, we're in a we're in a totally separate place now. Now, of course, the reason why I'm talking about this is because, well, one, it's pack watch time and it's, it's kind of funny. But two... The reason why I'm talking about this is because Steven Crowder has no fucking loyalty to any truth, okay? He has no semblance of a moral compass or anything. This is just his team. And if you're on Steven Crowder's team, if you agree with Steven Crowder, then Steven Crowder will defend you. If you're on his side, if you're ideologically aligned with him, he's going to fucking defend you. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can quite literally create mass harassment campaigns against victims of school shootings and the families of the victims of school shootings. And when you get your comeuppance in the American criminal justice system or in the American court system, which is very, very hard when it comes to defamation, given the First Amendment, he'll still turn around and be like, no, this was unacceptable. They, they attacked you because you told the truth. So if you're going to go around and, and look for hypocrisy here, I'll tell you, like, there, of course, it's hypocritical. There is no moral backbone here. They only care about winning. It's an overturned on appeal. So they announced it's the end of Alex Jones. It's all over. It's all more hype, more fraud, more disinformation. So that's what they just did here. And I have more clips of them specifically can, saying can ask you a we question, want Alex? to take him out. And I'm not trying to cut mm -hmm. you off, but some of these questions are just because it's hard for me to find the truth, the answers on it. I know we talked about now, the cap. Do. We talked about the cap in Texas, right? On uh, I believe it's a, is it punitive damages? Um, yes. Is there a cap in, in Connecticut or are you, unless it is overturned on appeal, are you on the hook for the hundreds of millions of dollars? The, 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 the short answer is... They lie and say I owe fifty million dollars in Texas. It's it's about five point six. There are that. caps. It's in the state. Damn man, you really fucking owned everybody with that one. Listen, folks, I don't even have three million dollars in my name, but I only own five million in Texas. It's not fifty million. Okay, that's fun. His short answer is that I'm owned, like unimaginably owned, but not as incredibly unimaginably owned as you thought. But let's hear what he had to say about Connecticut. I have to pee, by the way. I'll be oh, back. They can't overturn it. Right. It's different in Connecticut. The the unfair trade practices or cut or cut mar, however they call it, uh, that is unlimited, and that is up for the judge to decide. So she's going to come back next week and probably hit me with a billion more. Uh, so all the other ones do have caps, but because there's 15 plaintiffs, they're all capped at I, I forget the number, like four million dollars. So. $10 million is more money than I can get them. Of course. $50 million is more. A billion. It's all a joke at this point. It's like saying, we're going to cut you into 20 million pieces. Well, if you cut me in five pieces, I'm going to die. Isn't there just more evidence for a new defamation suit from the exact people suing him now? I mean, look, he's trying to, <laughs> he's trying, but failing to do a good job. Once again, shocking in defending himself. If he had stopped defaming 
the fucking parents over the course of the many years where he just said that they were without any evidence whatsoever, uh, you know, crisis actors, that they were lying, that they had an underlying reason for lying like this. And that reason was because they were working with the federal government or whatever the fuck. Like if he had done that, if he had done that at any given point, he, he wouldn't have this situation. It is quite difficult, as we've talked time and time again with the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, to sue someone successfully for defamation. Like, you really got to be Alex Jones at that point. Especially if you are suing someone that's wealthier and more powerful than you. Alex Jones is significantly more wealthy and more powerful than random parents of children that were ruthlessly slaughtered in mass shootings. Alex Jones also hasn't stopped. In a country where there are so many mass shootings happening all the time, it's not like he's stopped. He's still casting a lot of doubt on things like Uvalde. Look, I don't want to say this was stage provocateur, but we have specifically said with two years of hardly any mass shootings that with all the pre-programming that mass shootings are coming and terrorists are going to attack and we got to take the guns. And then I'm like, well, I would predict a lot of mass shootings right before the election. And then like clockwork, it's happening. You know, to me, it's just very opportunistic what's happening. Like he hasn't stopped at all. And it's like, but why I'm, would he? There's no punishments for it until now. In general, very concerned for my children, for the country in the future, because of the rabid acceleration into total and complete corruption. How scared are you right now? I am way more scared about the direction the country's going in if they admit this is a formula for everybody. I mean, while the right wing laughs, some of them, and says, oh, it's just Alex Jones, they're on every channel saying, we're coming after everybody now with this model. And they've even got the Republican Secretary of State in Texas saying, we want to come after Republicans that, that question election fraud. Give me a break. So you have the rhinos, the neocons, the rabid left allied together against the populist uprising of nationalist Americans who are peacefully trying to take our country back. So I'm way more concerned peacefully. about nuclear war. I'm way more concerned. I love the notion that his fan base is peaceful when like they literally shot at the houses of some of the fucking parents, dude. Like, these guys are anything but peaceful. Their ideas are not peaceful, and their execution is certainly not peaceful. Yeah, peaceful, brother. Remember fucking January 6th? Which Alex Jones himself played a role in? Remember that? So fucking peaceful, dog. This will be their Waterloo. And we will sacrifice for freedom. This will be their destruction. Gerald here, uh, I know, has a question for you. You can't see him, but uh, he's he's champing at the bit. Gerald, yeah, please. Yeah, so you said earlier that this is going to be overturned. Why do you think that it will be overturned? Not that you just have kind of this faith in that that's going to happen, but what are you guys arguing if you can reveal that to us on how it's going to be overturned? Uh -huh. Well, that's an excellent question. Uh, I have talked to dozens of, of very well-known constitutional lawyers. I can tell you, Norm Pattis is a very well-known, successful lawyer around the country. He's talked to current and former judges in Connecticut and in New York, uh, federal and state, that say this is the most insane craziness they've ever seen. The judge said in open court, you know, I said this months ago because she'd done rules in limine and, uh, and told us what I couldn't say. She said in court, can't say you're innocent. Can't say you barely ever talked about these people. Can't say you didn't make money off of it. Can't be political, but they could hold up magazines I put out exposing Obama, but then we couldn't respond back to it. I think that was in the awards trial. He's like, they caught me in 4K, and I couldn't lie. <coughs> That's so fucked up. Yeah, it's called perjury, man. Which he did, by the way. He perjured himself. Conservatives absolutely fucking love crying to the referee. I'm the referee, dude. It is so obvious that this is never about, like, a, a well-thought-out, well-constructed argument against hypocrisy but instead about the system not giving them exactly what they want. That's it. He's doing that right now. He's like, it doesn't, this is not about like a, like a moral opposition to what these people have done with respect to like free speech rules or anything like that. It's just simply, I couldn't get protected by the system and now I'm fucking mad. To it. She literally tied our hands and did this. So either America's gone and completely done or in Texas, and in Connecticut, if I have the money for the appeals, that's why they want to bankrupt us right now, right. because they are so scared that if there's any justice left, 
at the Texas or the Connecticut Supreme Court or the U.S. Supreme Court, they've got to overturn this because the deep state, the, the, the ambulance chaser brigade are openly saying they're coming after everyone with this, just like when I got censored. So, so are so, you saying that you think the people in the appeals court will, will see the gravity of it? Is that, is that what you're saying, why you believe it will be overturned? I don't know if the fix is in that high, but I know that when, okay, they've got their pound of flesh, they've demonized me, they brought back up Sandy Hook, they made a bunch of money for their charities, they got $73 million from Remington. I mean, these dead kids are cash machines for these lawyers, okay? And now nobody knows who Adam Lanz is that killed the kids, they only know Alex Jones. And, and so... I'm sorry, what was the question, Stephen? I apologize. No, no, I think I think you answered the question. Is it, well, I think Gerald really wants to know, why do you believe it will be overturned? Do you think it's because okay, they yeah. wanted to make an example of you, and then when it comes down to the actual constitutional law, it won't hold water? Is that why? Absolutely. I mean, I think that, well, they have to, or the country's over. I mean, you have to understand, when I say kangaroo court, when I say show trial, I mean, this has never before been done. A default's when you just don't even show up. We gave them everything, exhaustive, and then they let them use the discovery that they said we didn't give them to the jury. They could put. I mean, him saying those kids are a cash machine is is a self report, right? Talking about the victims and their families and the way that he did literally made him money. He can now say he lied about it, but at the time, that's what he did. So the one year God came through, the one year that I, because usually I make about a million, two million dollars a year. But on, honest with my audience, and after all the bills and stuff and legal crap, it, it's gone. Of course, okay, but I don't do it, I don't do it for money. The one year I made $12 million, it, God came through, magically the money came in to then buy my ex-wife out of the company. So again, they think, so, so it doesn't Alex, matter. Can I point they something out? He's a divorce court warrior. Your honor, I'm a victim of divorce court. Here, a trillion wanna, dollar judgment. I want to say something here that's important because I see you, have, and we all struggle with this, right? Where you're saying, because oh, I know that people think that sounds like a lot of money. And it's sad that you even have to say, no, you don't do this just for the money, but you absolutely deserve to earn a living if you have millions. Oh, that's crazy, man. Where was where was this kind of understanding when it comes to like, I don't know, leftist commentators? These motherfuckers love talking about how much money I make when what I make is literally fucking pennies on the dollar in comparison to both of you fucking demons. And that is before we look at what you are saying and what the fucking impact of your statements are. Millions of people who are listening and the amount of work that you put into it. I understand it. This motherfucker is what I said, I don't do it for the money. I did pay myself $12 million one year. <laughs> You're all fucking rich. I mean, true, but there's rich, rich, like the motherfuckers you're seeing on screen, and then there's rich, rich. I need to sell supplements, boys. That's what I need to do. And mugs. I'm going to sell mugs full of supplements. What I do here as well. Conservatives are the only ones, surprisingly, the people who support free enterprise, where we feel like, because our audience is largely working class, you want to say, look, look, don't get mad at me because I, I make this money. Because there's a huge difference between one year making $12 million and a several hundred million dollar judgment. You know who makes $12 million every single year? Uh, Colbert, Fallon, no one cares. And I just hope that people on the right- Oh my God, he's saying the same thing. Oh my God. Which is true. People don't care. People don't care. You want to know why? Because, well, they are famous. Okay? They're actually famous. And they're far removed from any sort of, like, negative commentary. Nobody gives a shit. If you're like, man, Stephen Colbert sure makes a lot of money, everyone would be like, yeah, shut the fuck up. He's on TV. Also, once again, those guys preaching liberalism, which is, of course- always considered to be, uh, you know, a, a much more palatable form of commentary. I don't think those guys harassed the families of victims of school shootings. I don't think those guys recreated the George Floyd state-sanctioned execution in the hands of Derek Chauvin. I feel like that didn't happen. You did that, though. It's not about who is making the money. It's about what you are saying and doing and what the impact of your actions are when you are making that money. And here's the thing, like, I don't even fucking, I, I don't like Stephen Colbert anymore. I, I think Colbert kind of sucks. Old Cor Colbert, when he was making fun of right-wingers by behaving like, uh, you know, the OG version of Hank Pecker, that was great. Kind of cringe now. But that's part of the reason why people don't fucking, uh, you know, shit on them as much. And this is the most important point I'm going to make here. And I got a few documents if I can show them to you that are really important sure. that, that, that tie this all together. Now, let's talk about this being the biggest defamation judgment in U.S. history by an order of at least 10 magnitude. If I can have an overhead shot here. Damn, I wish the survivors of Epstein received $965 million. Exactly. Good point on Twitter, Eliza. Think about that real quick. Why the triangle? You still don't know the names. Uh yeah, what the fuck? Dude, I, that's funny. Man, his content is fucking primo. Let's be real, dude. Look at those triangles that he put. 
exactly. We still we still stars. don't know. We still don't know <laughs> the names of the Johns. Here's another good point. Purdue Pharma that knew Oxycontin would addict people and kill them by the thousands have to pay six hundred and thirty four point five million on the ten plus billion they made profit in the Oxycontin case. Alex yep. Jones killed no one, ordered to pay nine hundred and sixty five million for Sandy Hook lies. And I don't Let's think I don't examples. think anyone is blowing somebody in an alley because of their addiction to uh, colloidal silver. <laughs> Absolutely, they're not. Here's another one. The largest fine paid by a banking executive responsible for the 2008 financial crisis was $67.5 million. Jury says Alex Jones pays $965 million. Here's another one. Yes, from a lawyer, Viva Fry. Yes, except for OJ, was found guilty of the actual deaths of two victims after a trial, that was a civil trial, whereas Alex Jones was found guilty of making false statements about people who were murdered by someone else without a trial. So OJ... Pays 33. Bro, you got you got to hand it to him, bro. Tweeting out, I mean, printing out the tweets and then using your top down Twitter uh, printed tweet uh, response on a Steven Crowder interview. I respect that. Who the fuck on this planet will be like, damn, man, I'm so glad that Purdue Pharma executives, the Sackler family, was not punished for all the deaths that they caused. And I'm glad that Alex Jones is. No one says that. You printed out all these fucking tweets defending you, except like, they're arguing with no one. 3.5 million. I pay 900 plus million. And it goes on yeah, and on. OJ was so innocent. what's going to happen? Absolutely. He was found innocent <laughs> by the criminal, but guilty by the civil. So what? when are they going to sue MSNBC for some of the lies that were done? I want $1 million. My feelings are hurt by their lies. And, and it just goes on from there. But those are some really important points. Watch Louder with Crowder live. He said those are some very important points.